Hi everyone, it's Friday and we are going to um, have our Bible lesson for today. Um, we're starting a new unit on the death and resurrection of Christ, um, but we're going to start with events that led up to his death. Um, so today we're going to be looking at when he came into Jerusalem and the events that are um, celebrated on what we call Palm Sunday. Um, so Paul is here with me and he brought his palm to wave and um, he's ready to learn. So I hope you are too. I am going to use a PowerPoint um, and we will be reading through some verses and discussing some things. And then you are going to do some reflection with some questions and then also um, on the discussion forum on Moodle. So I'm going to switch over now to the PowerPoint um, and we'll walk through it together. Okay, so um, the title of this lesson is Jesus Enters Jerusalem and we are going to be reading from Matthew 21, 1 through 17. Um, so if you have a physical Bible or um, another device that you can open that on, um, that would be helpful because I'm going to read from that, but I'm not going to show the verses on the screen. Um, so, as I said before, this is um, the events that are um, celebrated on Palm Sunday. So you can see in this picture, um, there's Jesus um, coming in and the people all have their palms and um, they are so putting um, things down on the road. So you probably know about this story from um, church when we have the week before Easter. Um, and today I want you to just be thinking about um, why Jesus chose to um, come into Jerusalem this way. So first of all, the reason that Jesus came to Jerusalem um, at that time was to celebrate the Passover, which is a yearly celebration. And um, they often would come to Jerusalem because the temple was there. And the temple um, is central to Jewish festivals. So that would be why they would want to be in Jerusalem for the festival, even though they didn't live there. So they came from a long way away. Um, if you remember, they're coming from Galilee, which is um, farther in the north, and would have had to travel quite a while to get there. Okay, so the first thing that um, happens in the story is that Jesus sends his disciples to prepare the donkey. Um, here's a lovely picture of a donkey for you. Uh, to look at. Um, so let's read these verses and um, think about um, what's happening here. This is Matthew 21, starting in verse 1. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethpage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a beast of a burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. So think about the donkey is not the most um, spectacular animal. It's not a huge horse with um, beauty. Um, and so it's an unusual animal for Jesus to choose to come into the city on. But also notice that there was a prophecy saying that he would do that. Um, and... Um, that is a key important part of what is happening here. So then the people start praising Jesus um, and um, praising him in the, um, the way mentioned here, Hosanna in the highest. So let me read these verses and then we're gonna talk about what, what they were saying. Verse seven, 
They brought the donkey and the colt and put on them their cloaks, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up saying, who is this? And the crowd said, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. So they're saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Um, so the word Hosanna actually comes from a Hebrew word, which means save. So if you think about um, that, it's a, a word that we use in praise, um, but the root of it actually means save. So think about what they're saying. They're asking for um, salvation and rescue. And then also in this section, it says that the people were putting their cloaks and branches um, out on the road um, as Jesus was coming in. So kind of like when we put out the red carpet um, for celebrities today. Um, that's what they're doing. Now the next section of um, this chapter, which happens immediately when he comes into the city, is called the Temple Cleansing. Um, and this is also a pretty well-known story um, because it's one of the times where we see Jesus expressing um, some anger and, and frustration. Um, so let me read these verses. It says, And Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. So people were um, in the temple uh, buying and selling and even also changing money and um, there are money changers there. Um, so think about this for a minute. Why would they be doing that? Um, so in order for you to think, understand this, you have to think about the background a little bit. So what happens in the temple is the sacrifices are given. Um, and so people have to have animals to bring sacrifices. If they don't have their own, then they can buy them. And so what's happening in the temple is that people are there selling animals to be bought for sacrifice. But the other thing that um, they would do is they created a temple currency. Um, so when you were in the temple, you had to have the specific money that was used in the temple. And so people are having to change money um, and then buy um, and all of that when they come in. And some of what was happening there was um, some of the people, um, the poor people especially, uh, being exploited because um, they ended up having to spend a lot more money um, to get their animals for sacrifice this way. So um, this, of course, does not make Jesus happy. Um, and he says, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. Um, so he's saying this is supposed to be a place of worship um, of God, and then people are coming in um, and to do that, but you are basically um, robbing them and um, making taking their money. So this is, of course, why Jesus is angry. And um, so I found this um, meme that goes with this. If anyone ever asks you what would Jesus do, remind him that flipping over tables and chasing people with a whip is within the realm of possibilities. So now obviously I don't want you to go around flipping over tables, especially at your house. Um, don't do that. Um, your parents probably wouldn't appreciate it. Um, but we can see from the story that um, Jesus was not happy with injustice when people are not being um, treated right and when people are not um, worshiping God appropriately in the ways that he wants them to. So when this is all happening, um, Jesus is in the temple at this point and he 
um, also continues to do certain things. And then it shows us here how the Pharisees respond. How do these people, um, what do they think about what Jesus is doing? Uh, so let's read this last section. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. And they said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes. Have you never read, Out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies you have prepared praise? And leaving them, he went out of the city to Bethany and lodged there. So here we see um, Jesus doing what he's doing, and the Pharisees are indignant. This is a word that means angry and frustrated. Um, so why are they upset? What's Jesus doing? He's healing people. He is being praised by the children who are calling him the son of David. In other words, they're um, recognizing him as the Messiah. So think about that. The Pharisees are not happy because... Um, they don't believe that Jesus is the Messiah. And um, also Jesus is taking a lot of the um, attention at this point. And um, they are the ones that are supposed to be leading people um, to God. But here's this guy who's come in and um, changed so many things for them. So that is um, the end of the PowerPoint and um, the lesson. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go on to Moodle and find the assignment, which has questions for you to answer. Um, the questions will ask you a lot of why and how kinds of questions. Remember, there's not just one right answer, um, but make your answers uh, thoughtful. And then there also is a discussion forum when you finish that for you to go on and talk about um, the lesson and the application that we can get from this. Um, so when you do those two things, um, you will submit them on Moodle. All right, that's it for today.